Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. This is going to be my most ambitious Pokemon Go challenge I have ever done. Uh, we are going to be attempting to go 24 hours straight playing Pokemon Go right now. Um, Community Day weekend has just officially started as you guys previously saw if I left that clip in. Um, all the spawns just changed on us and we got like two Squirtles, a Charmander, some Chikorita, Cyndaquil, no Dratini, Larvitar, or Beldum, but um, we're going to do some spawn point hunting on our way over to Main Street. Okay, never mind. There is a Larvitar right there. All right, come on. Not shiny, but we'll take the candy. So while we go ahead and catch these, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a small introduction on pretty much how everything is going to go. So for the most part, I'm just going to go ahead and record every single hour to give you guys updates. So, you know, like hour one, hour two, you know, how many hours we are away from 24. And uh, the reason why I'm going to do that is because I have a feeling we're going to encounter a lot of shinies today. Like, more shinies than I know what to do with. In that sense, I don't want to keep pulling out the camera constantly to record every single Single shiny it's just easier to just kind of like recap it by hour however we do not have a shiny um charmander or dratini on this account so if we do get one of those i will go ahead and pull out the camera and record it because uh, that is actually the first that I'm going to be getting, so the first shiny is always very special to me. But you know, if it's anything else, I, I probably won't. I had a feeling we're probably going to run into some network issues, uh, some very unfortunate things that Niantic tends to do every single time Community Day starts. And you know, it's sort of expected at this point that during the first hour, things are not going to go as smoothly as they should. But uh, you know, I think for the most part, it should be fun. It's going to be very tiring. My biggest concern is probably, you know, um, at night between the hours of like one o'clock to eight in the morning that's gonna be really hard for me to get through but if we can get through that we can pretty much push through for the full 24 so I'm optimistic guys I believe we can do this I hope we can do this this is kind of crazy for me even to be attempting another thing I want to go ahead and do right now is show you guys um, my Pokemon storage we have about 250 sorry 150 open slots we're going to go ahead and buy two more upgrades right now we got a community day box is this good this is trash like usual okay is this a new ultra box um it might be it's still trash okay so we're just gonna go ahead and buy some storage upgrades so pokemon storage upgrades right here yes and we actually do have a Pokemon in a gym right now, so hopefully that gets kicked out. We get another 50 more coins, and I can go ahead and buy another upgrade. But for the time being, we are chilling at 250 open slots, which I think is going to be enough for today. Pretty much been prepping myself for this for the last couple of days. I got a lot of sleep, you know, I charged up all my external batteries. I borrowed a couple external batteries from friends. We got a couple, you know, extra cords and stuff. Anything I might need. We got water in the back, some snacks, you know, healthy snacks, of course. Got to keep myself uh you know energized but um yeah i think for the most part we're pretty much set to go for the full 24 hours i know i'm kind of dragging out this intro but there's a lot to kind of go over here anyways though um from here on out i'll go ahead and record maybe a couple shinies and then after that we'll go ahead and start doing hourly updates um unless we don't get a shiny within the first hour i do not know the shiny rates for this uh, community day weekend they could be lower than normal that's definitely something we're going to go ahead and find out as we sort of go through all this but uh yeah i think with all that being said guys let's go ahead and get started Started. We've made our way over to Main Street. We're about half an hour into the event so far So I know I said I wasn't gonna do updates, you know until like every hour But just wanted to let you guys know that we made it over here. No shinies as of yet I'm hoping to get at least one within the first hour if not I mean it seems like the spawns are really good Which I'm actually pretty happy about because I'm able to like, you know, get Larvitars, Dratinis Not so much Beldum, a lot more Eevees, but I think that's also uh, based on the weather Because it is partly cloudy right now and this Larvitar keeps blocking everything I'm throwing at it. All right, so yeah, just uh, wanted to let you guys know that we made it over here, and I will let you know when we get our first shiny. So it's pretty much the end of the first hour, and uh, we haven't gotten any shinies. Also, something to note is that the catch rate is not any easier. I'm gonna hop in with my buddy Marvin right now over there, and uh, we're gonna drive around for a bit, hopefully get our first shiny. I mean, first hour wasn't the best. Maybe this Bulbasaur will be shiny. Eh, nope. All right, that's okay though, guys. Uh, hopefully second hour goes a little bit better. You got Chikorita? Yeah. Guys, we got our first shiny, shiny Eevee. Uh, and we're here with Marvin and Jacob. Say hi, guys. Hey. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, um, an hour and 18 minutes into the event to get our first shiny. And it's an Eevee, you know, something that we have a lot of. But you know what? Not complaining. Um, here's to hoping that we get another one during this hour. Um, but if we don't, 
Well, shiny rates seem to be a little bit low today. All right, guys, uh, we're going to be hopping in in my friend Jonathan's car now. Daddy. It's gonna be doing a lot of switching today, a lot of hanging out with the community, Daddy. different people, different grind styles. Uh, yeah, his, his name's also Daddy. You guys have probably seen him all over Reddit and stuff. You know that one sure. map that says Daddy? This is him, this is him. Don't tell my wife. Hey, this, how's it going? It is the end of the second hour right now. We're doing a Cresselia raid uh, with the guys right there. They're on the car. Decided to hop out a bit just to record this clip. Uh, we got another shiny. We got a shiny Bulbasaur, 14 CP though. I'll show you guys after we're done with this. And um, yeah, I mean the shiny raids, I already told you guys earlier, they're not really that high. I would say maybe like one out of 50, maybe like one out of 75. Whereas they were one out of 25 before. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know, I, I don't think we can really do anything about it. Um, side note though, I don't have a Cresselia yet, so this is going to be my first one if we can actually catch it, which would be pretty cool, because, I mean, this thing is pretty much useless aside from the deck entry, so getting this out of the way would be kind of nice. Um, but yeah, after we're done with this raid, it'll be the end of the second hour, two shinies in right now. It's not bad, it's like one shiny an hour. Just finished up the Cresselia raid. I don't know what the perfect for this is. We're just gonna try and catch it regardless though, just to get it in the decks. Uh, three Golden Raz, one Fast TM, 16 bulls. It's a nice bonus. All right, bonus challenge. Let's get this over with. Wanna get back to the grind. Seems like it's pretty easy to hit Excellence on though, even though I just got a great. It, it seems pretty easy for the most part. And catch first ball. Yes, all right, we got it. We're good to go, guys. All right, so that is the end of the second hour. Third hour is beginning right now. We got it, guys. Shiny Dratini. Oh my God. I, I, I literally screamed. Like, you can ask all of them when uh, it happened. like a girl. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do not know how happy I am to get this shiny Dratini right now. Like out of all the shinies that we could get today, Dratini is probably the number one one that I want. And uh, we got it. Um, yes. 21 minutes into the second, third hour, sorry. Getting so confused at the time because we started at one. Um, not the best stats, but we got shiny Dratini, guys. We got a shiny Dratini. Hi. That is um, our third shiny in total so far. Hey, shiny Charmander. Nice. He, he just got a Pikachu too. He just got a shiny Geodude. I hate you. It Jonathan. happened. Oh my gosh. See, like, not even Community Day shiny. Just sh yeah, shiny Geodude. Golden wow. Dude. Oh my god, that's hype. Our Pokemon ended up getting kicked out of the gym, which means we got our 50 coins for the day, which ultimately means we can upgrade our storage one last time. All right, here we go. Last upgrade, putting us at a grand total of 850 storage. Okay, guys, we are about to hit four o'clock right now, which means we are done with hour number three. We have 21 hours to go, which Seems like a lot, but eh, it's okay. Guys, we just got a shiny Bulbasaur. Um, I'm really happy that we got another Bulbasaur because this is the one that I really, and it's not likely, never mind, but I'm still happy we got it. The shiny rates have been awful. This is my fourth shiny. Yeah, we're walking Main Street now. Uh, Jonathan left. So we're here with Marvin. Hey. And Moira. Woo! What part? She's supposed to be at a party. I'm, I'm at a party right now. <laughs> so shiny number four. Hour number four is over. Hour number five is starting. And come on, shiny Larvitar. Nope. That's okay. We've actually stocked up like 400 Larvitar candy so far. That's a big one. Guys, we've got a shiny Mareep. Uh, is it good? 401. This is shiny number five. It's not that good. So just looking through my Pokemon right now, and apparently at some point we had go plus a shiny Beldum like right before that uh, shiny Bulbasaur. So that's kind of cool. I think, let me check right now. That would put us at a total of six shinies in total. Uh, yeah. So we got Eevee, Bulbasaur, Dratini, Beldum, Bulbasaur, Marie. Four and a half hours in so far, six shinies, and we already got one of the ones that I really, really wanted. No shinies since the Mareep, I think. Unless I go plus one. Uh, nope. No shinies since the Mareep. We're five hours done so far. 19 more to go. We got a 1,000 CP Bulbasaur right here. This thing is the biggest Bulbasaur I've ever seen. I mean, the weather just changed to clear right now, so... I mean, if I can catch this, I really hope it's good, because that is, like crazy like that is seriously insane for Bulbasaur level 35 wonder HP ah oh, dang wasn't the one I was looking for but that's still a crazy uh, big Bulbasaur we are at seven o'clock now guys six hours in we have not got another shiny since um, I'm actually IV checking right now and doing a few trades trying to get a lucky or just something good because I mean the shiny I'm sorry yeah the shinies aren't coming in and um, 
yeah, I just I just want to get something good, guys. Just want to get some uh, Frenzy Plant Venusaur. That would be nice. I want to fill up my team. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update that we are finished with hour number six, entering hour number seven. I just got my gold dragon type medal, guys. I know it's like I've already gotten it before, but this one is tough to get. Yeah, as you can see on screen right there, gold dragon type medal, 200 on the dot. We are six and a half hours in as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start driving. My hands are getting so cold. It's like 40 degrees outside, which I get it. It's not that cold for most people, but for living in California, it's it's pretty cold outside right now. My hands are really, really cold. All right, we're starting to drive around now, guys. Uh, we are just finished hour number seven. It's eight o'clock right now, so we're gonna go ahead and start hour number eight. We have not gotten a shiny in a long time. Which kind of sucks. I mean, these shiny rates are really, really bad. Still, the last one that we got was that Mareep, and uh, it's it's been a while, guys. Oh, wait, I guess we got another Mareep. My bad. I didn't realize we got a second Mareep. Um, yeah, okay, so I guess at some point we go plus another shiny Mareep. Well, shiny number seven there. I guess uh, we'll take it, right? We'll take it. It's still a shiny. Thank you so much, Moira. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, it is now nine o'clock, my friends. We have just finished hour number eight and we are entering hour number nine. I also have some pretty awesome news for you guys. Uh, during that past hour, we got incredibly lucky. So check this out. Not only did we get that uh, double chocolate chip uh, Starbucks drink from Moira, we ended up getting three shinies. Like we got two more Mareeps and a Beldum. So that was pretty cool. Kind of crazy that we keep getting so many Mareeps, but you know what? We'll take it, right? We'll take it. We have a total of 10 shinies now. So we have 10 shinies in eight hours, which is pretty good. I'm estimating like one shiny every hour. That seems to be the average. So uh, 10 shinies in total, that puts us above average for right now. We could go on a dry streak though. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. Uh, again, these actually were all go plus as well because I am driving around the loop and uh, One more awesome thing as well. We got our last 10 kilometer egg So we're gonna go ahead and incubate these right now get them going get a lot of stardust and hopefully a Riolu in here and that'd be great I don't know the dates normally I go over the dates for this stuff But I don't really care guys like we're on the 24-hour grind right now I don't want to really waste time going over the dates and stuff uh, And normally I would make this its own separate video, but because we are on the 24-hour grind uh, There's no point, you know I just want to keep going with this and then I'm assuming we'll hatch these in like a few hours I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon, but eventually we will get these done all right, so there you go. Uh, nine times 10 kilometer eggs in the middle of our 24 hour grind. We're 10 shinies in. We got a lot of other good stuff as well. Um, hold on, there's this one Larvitar that I wanna show you guys that I got from a trader a little bit earlier. This is Larvitar right here, 939. Oh, and I actually got some incredibly bad news as well. I think it was a little bit after eight o'clock. 100% IV, level 35, uh, boosted Larvitar spawned from Allure, and we just missed it. Like, some people messaged me and like, I, I drove over there but it was too late. It had already despawned, so it's a bit unfortunate. But we actually also ended up getting this one from a trade, which is a level 35, 939 CP. Um, you know, uh, over 80% IV. I have to IV check everything later. 16 hours to go. The grind is still going. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think I really have anything else to say right now. Let's just uh, keep pushing forward. Hopefully we'll get another shiny, you know, by go plus in it. But we'll see what happens. Still need that Charmander. Nine hours done, guys. Nine hours done. Going into hour number 10. We got one shiny in that last hour, which is actually a really good shiny, though. We got an 881 CP shiny Eevee. Which is pretty incredible. Honestly, it wasn't like the amazing IVs or anything like that, but it was pretty good. Like 881 CP is the highest shiny EV I think I have. So uh, I can't complain. So we're about to hit uh, the end of the 10th hour now, starting our 11th. We have not got another shiny again since that EV. So kind of on a small dry streak right now. Not the best, but again, when you're driving, it's like all you can really do is go plus. So. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Um, just wanted to let you know that we're about to start our 11th hour. And I'm feeling pretty good so far. Don't feel like I'm getting too tired just yet. It's 12 in the morning, guys, and it's 12 in the morning. And I got some good news. Uh, good news is we got ourselves another shiny. Let me go ahead and show you right now. We got ourselves a shiny Larvitar. So pretty happy about this one. This is actually one that we have not gotten since we started grinding so it's been 11 hours we finally got a shiny larvitar like 10 and a half hours in that was catch number 20,000 so right here on the metal we've caught like 47 since then but uh yeah that was catch number 20,000 which is more or less kind of nice we had like 60,000 on my old account so it's a little bit i mean i don't want to say it's bittersweet but um yeah we had 60,000 before now we got 20,000 
still a nice milestone, still a nice milestone. It's 12 in the morning now. We gotta get through the next seven hours, and uh, after that I think it'll be a little bit easier to stay awake. Uh, getting a little bit tired, but I'm not too worried about it. I think we'll be fine, so uh, yeah. After this next hour, we'll be officially halfway to 24. So yeah, let's uh, keep it going, guys. Hopefully we'll get another shiny. Everyone's getting out, guys. Everyone's getting out. 1 a.m. squad. It's about to be um, 12 hours so far. 12 hours, halfway through the grind. So we got one more shiny. Not gonna believe what we got. Another Mareep. <laughs> <laughs> Mareep number five or six. I don't, I don't know at this point, uh, but we're here with Jaro, uh, Shane, Matthew, Mike, and Robert, 1 a.m. squad on Main Street. It's cold, it's pretty cold. <laughs> we gotta be here for like another 12 hours though. We can get back in the car now. I'm, I'm starting to freeze. <laughs> yeah. We just uh, got back from In-N-Out, which by the way was incredibly refreshing. My 10Ks should be hatching. Nine times 10Ks. I've been like holding that Dratini on screen for so long and uh, we should be getting it. 9.9, .9. okay, just gonna do a bit of a uh, bit of walking. We should get the distance though any, any second now. Took a bit of uh, walking back and forth, but we got our 10Ks going right now, guys. Nine times 10, I don't have a start piece, so we can't maximize this. That's okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what we get. 24 hour grind, almost at uh, hour number 13 here. First one's a Mareep naturally because we need more mareeps right we need more mareeps uh and of course we get a 2k all right so first mareep pretty bad pretty bad mareep and we got another 2k come on be good egg number two Phoebus. this this could be good this could be good all right and i am wrong it was awful but we got the candy. I'll take the candy. It's not bad. Egg number three, please be better. Beldum. Okay. I guess I'll take the candy. Maybe good IVs, but uh, I don't know what's uh, good for this. That is definitely not good. All right. Egg number four. Come on. Be good. Be good, 10K. And another Beldum. Okay. Uh, higher than 534? 531. So. Eh, not that good. And it's it's best as defense. Alright guys, egg number five. We're going through this pretty fast. It's a little chilly outside. Oh, we got a Snorlax! Whoa! Alright. That was unexpected. I don't think I've hatched a Snorlax before. That's cool. 15 attack. I guess we'll take it. Egg number six. Here we go. B. Raiolu. B. Raiolu. Larvitar. Not shiny. But we'll take the candy. I always need the candy for Larvitar. Terrible IVs, though. All right, come on. Egg number seven. Ryolu, 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 Chimeco. Whoa, I don't think we have the, I don't think we've gotten this on this account. Nope, that was a dex entry. Okay, cool. Chimeco added to the dex. And uh, let's see if it's good. Nope, but uh, new dex entry, right? Can't complain there. We got two more left. All right, come on, Rayolu. Shinx! Not shiny, but we got a Shinx. All right. Uh, 487, that's pretty high. I think 500's the hundo. I guess I'll take that. I mean, I've never hatched a Shinx before, so that was kind of cool. And last one, Bagon. Okay, so overall, not too bad. We didn't get any for pinch, so I can't really complain. And is this good? Nah, bad IVs. All right, so that was uh, nine times 10. It's 155 right now, so we'll just go ahead and use this clip as the 13 hour mark. 13 hours in, guys, uh, we have 11 hours to go, which seems like a lot, but it's not so bad now. You know, we're slowly working towards that uh, 24. Oh, and then I do wanna go over one shiny that we got a little bit ago. We got a 661 shiny Cyndaquil. So it wasn't really shiny checking too many Cyndaquil, but I just happened to click on a few. And uh, yeah, we just got ourselves another shiny Cyndaquil. So you know what? 
we'll take it. 14th hour is done. We're doing some trades right now because pretty much Main Street's dead at this point. Hanging out with my buddies Shane and Robert. Uh, trading with Shane right now, a couple live retires. Waiting for him to trade. It's really cold outside, guys. Uh, he has a heater on inside his car right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump back in. Um, it's 3.02 in the morning, we're 14 hours in. 10 more hours to go. Oh my gosh, guys. 15 hours in now, it's four in the morning. Starting to hit me a bit, but still going strong. We got two more uh, shinies from the Go Plus. We got 27% IV shiny Beldum and another shiny Eevee. Kind of whatever at this point. I just I just want a shiny Trimander, maybe one more shiny Dratini. Definitely starting to hit me, this 24 hour thing. But uh, we're gonna keep on going strong. It's really cool. Still hanging out with Shane and Robert. Thankfully, they're still here because they're keeping me awake. And uh, yeah, we're just we're continuing the grind, guys. We're continuing the grind. It's five in the morning. 16 hours so far. Uh, we didn't get any shinies within the last hour, but again, there are no lures, so we're just kind of hitting spawn points and just whatever we have. The sun is finally coming up. The sun is finally coming up. 17 hours in right now, and you guys are not gonna believe what happened. Um, a little bit ago, I want to say maybe like 20 minutes ago, Go Plus did. Well, actually, this just happened too. We got an 89% IV, 15 attack, Beldum, 821 CP, and we got our last shiny Charmander. We finally got it, guys. It finally happened. So hyped about getting this one. I mean, this is the one that I probably needed the most because it was the last shiny that I had not gotten. And now I can trade it and hopefully get a better one so I can evolve it. Or just in general, I can just trade it and not have to spend like 80,000 dust with my ultra friends. So I'm really happy that we got the shiny uh, Charmander. We go plus it. So uh, yeah, really, really happy right now, guys. 17 hours in, we made it up until the morning. This was the hardest part of the grind, I would have to say. Like honestly, this last hour going from 5 to 6 a.m. was the most difficult so far like everything else i was like kind of managing to get through but 5 to 6 a.m was incredibly difficult for me uh big shout out to shane honestly for keeping me awake because that was tough that was really really tough but we did it guys so far so good 17 hours in we're getting really close to uh, 24 hours only seven more to go feels good that we made it through the morning guys honestly uh, we've got some starbucks right here a bacon gouda sandwich this thing is so bomb and uh yeah kind of hungry right now uh what is this it's seven seven in the morning so 18 hours in right now we're three fourths of the way there to 24 hours uh so far so good we didn't get any shinies in the last round i don't think let me double check we might have oh well we got something better than a shiny actually uh we got a 98 percent iv dratini which is insane. We're gonna wait until the event is over to evolve this because I don't really need Draco Meteor. I'd rather just have Outrage on it. We're eventually going to max this thing out whenever I feel like it. But uh, yeah, probably our best catch so far out of the entire grind. And we've caught in so many Dratini too. I mean, seriously guys, look at this. 1400 Dratini candy. That's ridiculous. I mean, our candy count is stacked up right now. We still got like six hours to go. 1300 Larvitar candy. I mean, we practically started with nothing too. So uh, yeah, you know, things are going well right now. I feel a lot better since it's morning. As weird as that is, it's just getting through the night is so much more difficult because it's dark outside and you just kind of like feel like you just need to sleep or at least your body feels like you need to sleep. But now that it's morning, I feel like I could keep going for at least a few more hours. I mean, definitely to get that 24. But I don't know, you know, we'll see how I feel. Um, at the moment, I feel pretty good. And hopefully after I eat that uh, bacon cheese Gouda sandwich, I'll feel even better. It's nine o'clock, guys. Or sorry, no, it's eight o'clock. See, I'm already so tired. It's really starting to hit me pretty hard right now. Like, I am exhausted. 19 hours in, five more hours to go though. I think I can make it through it, but I can't ride around anymore. I have to be walking. Cause like, honestly, I feel like every single time I blink, I just feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. So I have to keep walking. At some point, uh, when the bonuses start, I might go ahead and jump in the car uh, just to maximize it. But even then, I don't 100% know because I feel like I could just fall asleep and I need to get this 24 hours. Without the lures, we really have not been getting too much right now. The last shiny I got was, um, what was the last shiny I got actually? It was a Charmander, so it's it's been a few hours, guys. It's been a few hours since we've even got a shiny. 
Again, though, a big part of that is because there haven't, like, there really hasn't been lures on Main Street for hours at this point. So, I mean, grinding-wise, it's it's kind of tough, and I don't really want to drive at the moment just because I'm so tired. I see two lures at the top of the street right now, so I might just kind of head over there and just camp out for a bit. But um, I mean, the bonus is supposed to start in about two hours here, so I'm a little surprised nobody's here early uh, grinding this out. Either way though, we'll keep on uh, pushing through. There are still spawns throughout the street. We'll hope that uh, we can get another shiny, but uh, I'm not I'm not really expecting it right now, guys. Not really expecting it too much. Well, after walking for a bit, I do feel better. I think we're just gonna go ahead and drive right now, honestly, because Main Street is dead. Like, it is so dead. There are no spawns anywhere. And like, at this point, we just have to go spawn point hunting until the event officially starts. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. It just, it kind of sucks right now that the spawns are literally this bad. Like, they're just non-existent, even though there's like a ton of stops here. It's a little over 10 o'clock right now, guys. I'm actually starting to feel a lot better. Um, we're 21 hours in. It's not so bad anymore. I think, honestly, the worst part was during the night. But uh, we got ourselves another shiny. Not the best shiny in my opinion because we've already got like four others. Uh, we got ourselves another shiny Beldum. And in less than an hour, we are going to be starting the three hour bonus window, which is going to contain double Stardust, double experience, and uh, half egg hatches distance, which I already incubated an egg, which kind of sucks now that I think about it. I should have waited on that. Oh well, I guess I can't do anything about it now. All right, guys, so there is your update. We're only three hours away from uh, completing our 24-hour grind. 22 hours in, my friends. It is about to be 11 a.m., and the three-hour bonus window is about to start. So we took a small break. Um, we're in the 23rd hour right now, and the shiny rate has definitely been increased, as well as the catch rate. So we have gotten quite a few shinies, guys. So six shinies within the first hour. The next hour will be officially 24 hours of grinding straight Pokemon Go. We've officially gone 24 hours playing Pokemon Go straight and we got a lot of shinies recently so I kind of want to go over that too. So let me show you. Uh, we got actually shiny Eevee and two shiny Pikachu within like the time span of like two minutes. It was insane. Oh also I have another announcement. We're gonna be going into overtime. We are going to do six more hours to make it a grand total of 30 hours straight playing Pokemon Go. You heard me right. I wasn't originally going to do this. I kind of wanted to see how the 24 hours were and sort of how I felt, but I feel pretty good right now, and I think I could do six more hours. So, uh, yeah, hold on. I want to show you guys the shinies, though. Did we just... We just go plus a shiny Charmander. Let's go. Wow, that, that just happened right now. Okay, I guess that's my reward for going 24 hours, right? We got a lot more shinies, and we got a lot more better shinies. That doesn't sound right, but we got better shinies this time around. We are going into overtime right now, six more hours of this. We're going to end off playing Pokemon Go for 30 hours straight. We got this. Let's keep it going. We are now 25 hours in, guys. We got so many shinies, like, during that last hour. It's ridiculous. Like, in total, we got 25 shinies just from that three-hour bonus, which is ridiculous. I mean, add that onto the 20 shinies we got previously, and we have 45 shinies total, and we're still gonna go for five more hours. So if we can end off with 50 shinies, that is going to be my ultimate goal for today's video. Like, I literally do not have any words to say right now because of how well we did during that three hour bonus window. Like, we killed it. We got so many shinies, so much rarity too. I'm pretty sure we got like one of every single shiny at this point, because we got like two Squirtles too. Cyndaquil, Chikorita. Oh, we had one Chikorita run away on us as well, so there's that. Um, kind of unfortunate, but it's Chikorita. I don't, I don't really care about Chikorita. Um, so yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some food right now, build myself up for that last five hours, and uh, let's end off strong, guys. Let's end off strong. It's been about 26 and a half hours so far. Uh, we got back a little bit ago. Uh, no shinies yet, just hold on to let you guys know that we're back on Main Street. We're gonna grind until 7 p.m., which should be the 30 hour mark. My goal is to get five more shinies. So I will give you guys updates here and there. I don't know if I'm gonna do every single hour at this point. Um, I might, I might do every single hour. Um, since we're already 26 and a half hours in, I think I'll do the next update at 28 and just focus on grinding for the next one and a half hours because I really wanna get five more shinies and just end off at 50 total. We are 28 hours in now, which is a little bit ridiculous. Unfortunately though, we did not get any shinies within the last hour, which I am kind of sad about, but uh, you know, the shiny rate 
wait outside of the three hour window is really, really bad. I am actually hoping that we are able to get at least one or two more though before we do hit 30 hours. Um, honestly though, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. And I did want to get like 50 shinies in total. So that would be like five more during this time. But I don't think that's going to happen anymore. So I would say one or two shinies and uh, that should pretty much be good for me. Uh, regardless, I think the main goal is just to get to 30 hours at this point. So yeah, let's just uh, keep on pushing forward. Uh, for right now though, check this out. See, no shinies. No shinies for a while. Not since we got that uh, shiny Charmander all the way back during the three hour window. So it's been a while. It's been a while, guys, but it's okay. We're going to keep on grinding out. We got uh, a little under two hours left now, and uh, we are almost done. I'm so excited to be done with this because I really just want to go home and sleep at this point. Well, we just went another hour without getting a single shiny. So now it's been four hours since the three hour window ended, and we have not gotten a single shiny in that time period. This is our longest dry streak during this event. This is actually really, really ridiculous. I mean, we've gone through like over 150 Pokemon, I want to say, and we haven't gotten a shiny. Um, honestly though, I don't care, guys. This is our last hour. This is going to be 30 hours once we're finished with this last hour, and uh, I just want to go home and sleep. All right, guys, so I got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news is we still couldn't get a shiny five hours later, pretty much, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't know why I, I seriously cannot get a shiny, but the good news is we can actually end off on a positive note with this Machamp raid. So we're just going to go ahead and solo this Machamp as our finale, as weird as that is, but it's not so weird, right? Because this is playing Pokemon Go for 30 hours straight, and it doesn't really matter what we're doing, we're just playing Pokemon Go. So uh, right there we got uh, our setup, we got three Mewtwo, two Moltres with Sky Attack, and then one Rayquaza, which should be more than enough to take this thing down. It does have the Cloudy Weather Boost, so I believe it is going to be a little bit tougher to take down, but that should be no problem with our setup. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and commentate over this one as well, because... Well, we had a very, very long grinding session, and I kind of just want to recap here and just sort of end off the video at this point as well. Um, we will go ahead and probably do another video, like a follow-up, kind of going over all of my stats and stuff, or maybe I'll include that in this video. I don't really know at the moment. It's been 30 hours, obviously, and I'm extremely tired, so I just kind of want to get this over with and go home, get some sleep, and figure it all out tomorrow for the most part. So in total, we ended up getting 46 shinies. We got 20 shinies out outside of the three hour window and then we got 25 shinies sorry 26 shinies inside the three hour window unfortunately though we did have one chikorita run away on us which i'm not entirely sure how that happened i think i was in the middle of doing the fast catch trick and i guess i just made it run away or something like that or i didn't go back to click on it and must have not caught but uh it's okay guys because it was a chikorita and i, I really don't care that much for the chikorita overall though 45 shinies were caught 46 in total were encountered and that is a ridiculous number. I mean, 20 outside the three hour window is pretty crazy by itself, in my opinion. Or maybe I just had bad RNG. I don't know. Let me know uh, in the comment section down below how you guys did outside of your three hour window. For me, though, I mean, honestly, that three hour window had a sort of a rough start. And then what is going on here? We're lagging like a lot. OK, we got to restart this. I don't know what happened. Are you kidding me? That was like 167 start time. No. That's not okay. Not even entirely sure why there was so much of a delay on that Machamp. I mean, we started with 167. That was ridiculous. So the shiny rate, I think I saw somewhere on the Silk Road a little bit earlier that the shiny rate during the three hour window was one out of 25, like normal um, community days. And then outside the window during the weekend, it was one out of 80, which is, I think, pretty accurate. I was estimating around one out of 75, so I was pretty close in that sense. However, I mean, given the last five hours, we've easily encountered over like 250 Pokemon, which means our RNG is awful. Um, I guess aside from the shinies though, how was my grind overall? As I previously told you guys, um, you know, 5 to 6 a.m. was the most difficult time for me. And, uh, oh, okay, let's start the battle. Do not glitch on me. Please do not glitch on me right now. There we go. All right. <laughs> We're good that time. Honestly, it was just really difficult for me to just stay awake. Jeez, I'm getting like wrecked with Heavy Slam. I think it's just better I go for straight DPS. We are getting wrecked though by this Machamp's Heavy Slam. We're just getting, I mean, spammed. This is ridiculous. 
Oh well, we got this though, we got this. 123 half time, yeah, we definitely got this. Like I was saying though, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. was probably the most difficult time for me just because I had a lot of trouble staying awake. But you know, as soon as the sun came out around like 8 o'clock, I felt so rejuvenated for whatever reason. And like ever since then, I felt fine. No other boost too, I think we can get this done within 60 seconds maybe? Come on, come on, push for 60 seconds. Oh no, it knocked it out. We could have got 60 seconds. Now it's gonna be like 52. Eh, 54. Eh, it could have been so much better if that Moltres didn't get tanked at the end. Oh, that was boosted too. All right, please be good, please be good, please be good. I'm totally getting sidetracked too, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I feel like this video has been all over the place just because, you know, throughout the entire video, I've just been getting more and more tired. And uh, I don't know, I just, I didn't really have a structure for this. I just felt like recording every single hour to give you guys updates. And I didn't really know how the event was going to be as far as shiny raids go. And I just, I didn't really know how I was going to record this for the most part. And um, I guess I do apologize for the lack of organization. I hope the editing came together pretty well. Um, ending off though with this Machamp, it's it's kind of nice. I'm happy that we are ending off with a boosted Machamp uh, because we could not get that shiny within that last five hours. It's ridiculous. I mean, I would have taken any shiny. I don't even care if it was Chikorita. And believe me, I did not want Chikorita. All right, come on, come on. Oh, wow, first ball. Let's go. All right, that's what I'm talking about. That's a great way to end off today. Is it good? Yeah, of course it's HP, naturally, right? Well, whatever, guys. I mean, we took down that Machamp. It is officially over 30 hours now, or at least it was a couple minutes ago. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Once again, I do apologize for the structure of this one. I didn't really know how I was going to do it. And I still don't really know how I'm going to edit it when I get home. But hopefully it all comes together pretty well and you guys don't feel like it's that bad. I mean, this was just a really, really epic challenge that I wanted to do. And, I mean, we accomplished it. We did 24 hours and then we did 30 hours following that. So, I mean, yeah, I don't think anyone else has done this. I've never seen anyone else do 30 hours playing Pokemon Go straight. So I believe we are the first to do this. It has officially been one week since we did our 30 hour grind on Community Day. And I've had a lot of time to sleep and not only sleep, but compiled the uh, results that we had from grinding that long. You know, everything that we saw, everything that we caught, the catch rates per Pokemon, how much candy we had before doing evolutions, how many evolutions we did, how many shinies we caught. And we are about to go over all of that incredible information right now. So I don't want to spend any more time. I'm sure this video is already like super long as is considering how much content I had, uh, you know, grinding for 30 hours straight and then obviously ending off here. So let's just go ahead and jump into all of the data. So before we go ahead and dive into the Community Day Pokemon results, we're going to first go over um, a couple of standardized medals. For example, the buddy distance we got, it was about 58.9 kilometers. Our collector medal was 2300 catches, which is incredible. Uh, given that there was a lot of dead time, I honestly think we could have done way better. But um, of course, you can't really expect Newhall to be lured consistently. And of course, I don't have the lures to drop. So I mean, that's just what we were able to get, you know, considering when it was lured and uh, during the times that it was kind of dead and when we had to just kind of go spawn point hunting 2300 catches on the dot was what we ended off with now for our backpacker medal which is the total number of pokestops we spun it was 1532 spins which is quite a lot the number of berries we fed to gyms was 506 uh the number of trades we did was 108 uh the eggs that we hatched including the nine times ten was a grand total of 25 so we didn't hatch a lot of eggs but do consider that i am only using the infinite incubator for the most part you know excluding the nine times 10. So realistically, you know, we hatched about 14 eggs, which is pretty good. I mean, I don't think it's bad or anything like that. Um, again, we did kind of vary from five kilometers to two kilometers, nothing crazy, a couple baby Pokemon, but nothing, um, nothing amazing or anything like that. No shinies. Now our tasks that we did was a total of 48, which is actually on the low side. But again, I wasn't really going out of my way to find a lot of different tasks. So 48 kind of makes sense. Um, the total number of experience we got was 712,000, which is pretty solid considering no friendship bonuses were involved in that. It was just straight grinding, no lucky eggs or anything like that either. And then finally, our Stardust total was 340,000. So pretty good results right there. Uh, with that being said though, I want to go ahead and go over the Community Day Pokemon results now. So starting off with Bulbasaur as our first one, we saw 346 and we caught 227. Our average catch rate was 65.6. And the total number of candy that we had before doing evolutions was 891 gained. Now for Charmander, we saw 333, we caught 182, and our catch rate was 54.6. 
and the candy before doing evolutions was 724 gain. Now for Squirtle, we saw 222 and we caught 105. I wasn't really going after Squirtle too much just because I already have so many shinies. Um, and then our catch rate was 47.2 because most of the ones that we saw were probably go plus or we just kind of shiny checked and then just didn't catch it. Um, the total candy that we got for Squirtle was 415. Now for Pikachu, we caught 283 and we saw 147, so our total catch rate was 51.7. And then at the end, we got 586 candy. Now for Eevee, we saw 319 and we caught 211, so our total catch rate was 45.6. And at the end, we got 826 candy. Now for Dratini, which was one of our best ones, we saw 363 and we caught 319. So our total catch rate was 87.8, which is actually really good because for the most part, I was honestly clicking on every single Dratini I saw with the exception of, you know, some that were go plus. Obviously, you know, when I was driving around, I can't really manually check on everything. But our total candy gained at the end was 1,686, which is incredible, honestly. We're gonna have Dragonites for days. We will have Dragonites for days. Now following that, it's Chikorita. We saw 241 and we caught 89. So our catch rate on that was 36.9, which is I think our lowest catch rate. Oh, I take that back, Cyndaquil was even lower. Um, the total candy gained on Chikorita was 354. Now for Cyndaquil, we saw 206 and we caught 71. So our catch rate on that was 34.4, which is really, really low. That's even lower than Chikorita. And our total candy gained was 276. So Main reason, as I previously told you guys throughout the video, is that I really wasn't focused on Squirtle, Chikorita, or Cyndaquil because we already have like 20 plus shinies, and I just really didn't want more shinies of those specifically, but we ended up getting a few, which, I mean, I'm not complaining, but we didn't really need them. That's why I wasn't so focused on, you know, catching them or even clicking on them for the most part. All right, now following that, we have Mareep. We saw 266 and we caught 185. And so our catch rate on that was 69.5. Again, Mareep wasn't really one I was too focused on, but again, somehow we ended up go plusing most of them and uh, it just ended up working out strangely. And so in total, we gained 770 candy on Mareep. Now here's a big one, uh, Larvitar, we saw 440, which is the most that we saw out of any of these Community Day Pokemon, and then we caught 356. So our catch rate on Larvitar was 80.9, which is pretty solid, can't complain with that. And then the total candy gained was 1,846, which is the most candy that we got out of any of these Community Day Pokemon. Larvitar was our MVP, and uh, there's a reason for that, you know, Larvitar is super useful, not only for Smackdown Stone Edge, but also for Bite Crunch, so it's ideal to have a team of 12, essentially. Two teams of six, respectively, but uh, Larvitar was my number one focus out of any of these Pokemon this Community Day, so every single Larvitar made sure to pine up, bury it, and for the most part, I tried to click on all of them. All right, now moving on over to Beldum, uh, we saw 316, and then we caught 234. My catch rate on that was 74%, exactly on the dot. And uh, Beldum wasn't one that I was too focused on, so our total candy gained was 904. I mean, we previously had the Beldum Community Day, and I ended up doing really good on it, so I didn't need, like, more Beldum, but maybe it would have benefited me more to kind of pine up berry some, just so I could have those extra shiny uh, Metagross with the Meteor Mash. That might have been a little bit more helpful, but you guys will slowly see later on that uh, I don't think I need to worry about that too much. Okay, so now with all that being gone over, let's go ahead and go over the shinies that we got per Pokemon, and this was just during the 30 hours. So we got three Bulbasaur, three Charmander, two Squirtle, four Pikachu, six Eevee, five Dratini, two Chikorita, one Cyndaquil, three Larvitar, seven Mareep, and nine Beldum. So Beldum was our MVP in that sense, even though we really didn't need that many. And so we got a grand total of 45 shiny Pokemon during those 30 hours. Now what's funny is we actually ended up getting a couple more shinies uh, throughout the rest of the event. Uh, we got two shinies as soon as I got home too, which is crazy because we went on that five hour dry streak and just ended up getting two shinies as soon as I got home. We got another Dratini and then we got another Bulbasaur. So I thought that was super crazy. They were almost back to back. So additionally, after the 30 hours were done, we got one more Bulbasaur, one Squirtle, one Eevee, two Dratini, one Cyndaquil, and then one Larvitar. Because we did actually end up going back on Sunday night. Uh, we went with Ashley to help kind of get some candy for her account. So I did a bit of grinding myself and we ended up getting like five more shinies, which was pretty solid. So uh, we ended off with a grand total of 50 52 shinies throughout the event, 45 shinies just within that uh, 30 hour period. 
So yeah, pretty solid guys, pretty solid. Now what I'd also like to show you guys right now is pretty much everything we evolved and uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. There is a lot of good stuff in here. Now I made sure to evolve as many extras as I could. So like as you guys can see on screen right now, we have three extra shiny Venusaur. None of them had good IVs, but uh, that's okay. Just for trades in the future, right? In case I want something like specific, I have uh, stuff to trade. Uh, we built up our Frenzy Plant army. We only had two going into the event, and then we ended up getting four. I'm really happy, too, because they're all really decent IVs, so cannot complain. Plus, we have this 89% IV Lucky. And I'm probably going to go over this a lot more uh, as I go over everything else as well. But uh, something that I'm really happy about that I accomplished during this 30-hour uh, grind, and as well just during the entire Community Day weekend, is that ever since I lost my old account, it's been such a struggle to rebuild everything, and I feel like this event really gave me such a strong opportunity to do that. To have my, you know, Frenzy Plant team of six again, it feels as if I've kind of built that back. Even though I do need to power some of them up a little bit, uh, for the most part, I do feel really, really good about everything that I was able to get back during this event. So that was my Venusaur um, army right there. We got three shiny extras uh, for Charizard. We actually got this from a trade from my buddy Robert. We got a 67% IV with 14 attack. Made sure to evolve this into Blast Burn because this was a level 30. So really happy about that. It was a terrible IV on him. Oh, and I guess I should also mention that I gave him a 96% IV shiny EV. So he kind of won on that trade, but I'm not complaining with what I got either because honestly, I'm so happy to have a shiny Charizard back. 67% IV, 14 attack is honestly fine with me. Like at a level 30, I'm good with that, guys. As long as I can drop this thing in gyms, I'm honestly fine with it. We evolved uh, one more regular Charizard with Blast Burn, and then we evolved two more shinies. Now for Squirtle, because we had a lot of them, we evolved a few uh, shiny Blast Toys uh, with and without sunglasses. Uh, we did one without sunglasses, the rest of them with, just because, I mean, I feel like more people would want the ones with sunglasses. Uh, we had a hundo, so we evolved the hundo. It's like a baby hundo, though, so it's kind of whatever. I don't think I'm really going to power it up. Uh, for Pikachu, we only evolved one Raichu. We didn't really need to evolve it because it didn't have the exclusive move set, but we just did it anyways. Now the next one is Eevee, although we did not evolve any of them because there was really no point to evolve Eevee. It only would get Last Resort, and Last Resort really wasn't a good move set on anything except for Umbreon. We already have two uh, Shiny Umbreon, so we're kind of good there. We didn't evolve any Eevee, so we'll just go ahead and skip over that. Uh, Dratini. Where is Dratini? Right here. We got a few shinies, like I mentioned. Super happy about that because that was one of the top two shinies that I wanted. The first one was Charizard, and the second one was Dratini. We ended up getting Dratini, so we evolved a few. We even got ourselves a shiny Dragonite with a Draco Meteor. And I know a lot of people do actually give shiny Dragonite a lot of crap, but honestly, guys, it's not that bad. I think shiny Dragonite is uh, actually decent looking, to be honest. And I'm kind of excited to drop this thing in gems. And we also got ourselves a shiny Dragonair, which is really cool. Um, we also evolved one more... Um, right here. We evolved one more Dragonite to get Draco Meteor. I didn't really need to, but it was 87% IV, 13 attack. Was it level 30? It was level 30, so I just figured, why not, you know? It's like, I might as well just do it now. Um, and then I think that was it for there. Chikorita, we evolved a few with Frenzy Plan for Meganium, just because, you know, you, like, you never know if somebody's gonna want them. It's always good trade bait, to be honest, because nobody can get these movesets anymore. They're going to want the shiny. They're going to want the exclusive moveset. So we evolved a few of those. We've got our shiny set with Bayleaf right there. Uh, Cyndaquil, same thing. we got a lot of Typhlosion. We evolved, I think, three extra shinies. And then we had a hundo, so we evolved the hundo. I'll get another baby hundo, but we'll still take it. And after that, uh, we did Mareep. We got Flaffy, and then we got Ampharos, um, which is pretty solid. I had a lot of Mareep. Obviously, as you guys saw, that was like the second most shiny I got during this community day. And so we evolved a few. We evolved four with the Dragon Pulse moveset, which is pretty useless, but I don't know. I just did it because we're not going to be able to get it again, so, I mean, I don't know. It's trade bait, right? It's just trade bait. Now, skipping over that, we're on Larvitar. We still have a lot of Larvitar left. Uh, we did not evolve any more shiny Larvitar, although maybe I should have to get Smackdown. That probably would have been a good idea, but honestly, I was more focused on the ones with good IVs. Like, we have so many Smackdown Larvitar, and I will be TMing some of them to get the Bite move set because I kind of need to Bite Squad. We evolved so many with Smackdown. So many good IVs were gained during that event because we were kind of... Uh, uh, benefiting off the partly cloudy bonus, so really happy about that. Alright, moving forward though, moving forward, I believe the last one is Beldum now. So, 
Here's the awesome part. We got a lot of shiny Metagross. Like, we got a lot of shiny Metagross with Meteor Mash for trades in the future. This is probably going to be the most useful one as far as trade bait goes, so I'm happy about that. And we also evolved one more regular Metagross just because it was a good IV level 30. I was like, why not, right? And then I think we also evolved one as an attacker, so we have two as attackers, and the rest of these are just for trades in the future, so I'm sure at GoFest or something like that, which I will be trying to attend this year now that I have an account. It's like, I don't have to worry about it. Last year it was kind of in the middle of everything, so... Uh, naturally, I just didn't go, but uh, this year, or this coming year, I'm looking forward to actually attending GoFest, so hopefully I can make that happen. But yeah, guys, honestly, let me just look up Shiny specifically. We have a lot of good stuff. Like, we were able to get meta versions of pretty much everything. Like, we have a lot of Shiny Extra Evolutions, a lot of Shinies in general. I actually counted this last night. We have a total of 195 Shinies on this account. So with that being said, I mean, I think that's pretty much it for this video. We went over all the stats at this point, and I mean, yeah, you know, overall from the entire event, 52 Shinies is pretty solid. I have no complaints there. I think my biggest storage problem is actually Shinies. I mean, having 195 Shinies on this account is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, too many Shinies. Too many Shinies. And since we're only limited to one special trade a day, it's really difficult trying to get rid of them, because honestly, I would be trading them away if I could, because I really cannot bring myself to transfer them. But yeah, guys, honestly, this was the craziest challenge I've ever done, you know, period. I've never done anything like this. I mean, 24-hour challenge was one thing, but 30 hours... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I set a record there. So really hyped about that. First person to play Pokemon Go straight for 30 hours. And so with that being said, guys, I feel like I've talked long enough. I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So if you did enjoy it, feel free to hit that like button down below. As always, I'd really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more Pokemon Go content, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. And I'll see you all real soon in the next one.